Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. Welcome to today's game. And our match today is Oxford United versus Charlton Athletic. Oxford United! Oxford United line up. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Holmes. Mackey. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. The pass not completed, really. Well, the referee has blown for the free kick. I don't think he's going to produce the yellow card. He's got support here. Strong challenge. Hansen. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. Totally unmarked in the middle. It's the crossbar. Cleared away by the defender. Well, that's gone behind for a corner. Well, here comes the corner. Defended well. And now the shot. What a save. That's right on the edge. That's a difficult call for the referee. And it's probably a little bit easier to say it was outside rather than give the penalty. Let's fly. Oh, that's a terrific free kick. And the goalkeeper given absolutely no chance. Great free kick from a great player who's just a super specialist at this. Yeah, the wall jumped, he did everything he could, but they couldn't get near it. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Marshall. 17, James Henry. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Giving it straight away. Marshall, I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Could really get at the opposition here. Good defensive clearance there. In with a chance. Turn front now. Well, keep the concentration, and they've won this match, I think. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. For Oxford, Marshall United. Bauer. Number 17, James Henry. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Not a good challenge by the defender. Looking. He's got his shot off now. And that shot's blocked very quickly. And it's gone out for a throw. Holmes. Anthony McMahon. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. The referee has awarded this free kick. Two of them involved here. Striding forward purposefully. Shots off. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. 
looking for teammates in the middle. The header on target, but never looking as though it was going to get the better of this goalkeeper. No, he's under a bit of pressure to head the ball and uh, didn't really get the direction at all on it. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Holmes. Now they can go forward, having won the ball. Now, can he take them on? The official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. <laughs> Brilliant play. And shoots! Shot blocked here. There was danger, but he's cleared it. The shot's on! That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. And the referee is blown for half-time. It's 2-0 here. And we've got another 45 minutes to go. And uh, set your watches, off we go. Holmes. He's trying to turn over the play here. Marshall. He's got the technique to deal with the press. Brilliant first. Don't get a free kick for that. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting the attack. In on the goalkeeper. Here's the chance. And that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. He might be through. He's in the clear. It's a good cross. Splendid header. Superb save. Yeah, he got plenty behind that header as well. I think he thought he'd scored, but the keeper had other ideas. Going forward well. Poor on the ball. Marshall will be a free kick. Alan, I'm, I'm not surprised. This is a lad who very rarely gets replaced, but he's not been at the races today. Maybe he's a bit under the weather. He might be, because energy is something that you always associate with him, and he has looked leggy. La Treads it through. Well, the player's broken down now. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. With the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR. It's a weak cross, really. It's not getting past the first defender. Thank you. They're trying to dispossess him. Excellent organisation from the coach to get his team. Surely! Strange, really, from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard. Yeah, that's not like him at all. Don't know why he tried to finish like that. against the touchline, pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw-in. Anthony McMahon. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Marshall. Possession given away once more. And that will clear the danger. Maloney. Taylor. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. This is how they love to play on the break. Wonderful goal. Well, this is what you call leading from the front. 
A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up at a very good moment there. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Three minutes. That's all that's left now. Please give a round of applause for today's man Darren of the match. Tratley. Number 17. Pierce. James being closed down Henry. here. Substitution well, that's what substitutes are for to be used. We've pitch. got one coming on now. Number 18. Carl Grant to be replaced by. We've got two added minutes. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. The break is definitely on. And it's a goal here. It's his third goal. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on form. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match and he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick there's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game the referee has brought a halt to it that's full time well undoubtedly he was the star man today taking home the match ball and 